this is a work problem, so I always set up a chart. And the first column is the time, and the second column is the rate. And that's the rate of an individual working with somebody else. So we'll also have it together. So twin brothers, Billy and Bobby, mow their grandparents' lawn together in 92 minutes. So together, it's 92 minutes. Billy could mow the lawn by himself in 35 minutes less time that it would take Bobby. So it doesn't tell me anything about Bobby's time, so let that be X. And we're trying to figure out Bobby's time anyway. But Billy could mow the lawn by himself in 35 minutes less than Bobby, so that would be X minus 35. Now the way you represent the rate, you take the reciprocal of the time. So that would be one over X minus 35. You're just flipping it. And this would be one over X, and this would be one over 92. Now think about it. If you want to write an equation and you want to represent Billy and Bobby working together, that would be 1 over x minus 35. Your equation always comes from the right. 1 over x minus 35 plus, because he's working together with Bobby, and that would equal the together. So the first thing you need to do to solve this equation is clear your fractions, and your least common denominator would be a 92 and x and x minus 35. It's each one of your denominators in this case. And you're gonna multiply every term on both sides by 92x and an x minus 35. So here, if you multiply this by 92x, x minus 35, the x minus 35s cancel and you're left with 92x times one, which is 92x plus here the x is canceled and you're left with 92 times x minus 35. And on the right hand side, the 92 is canceled and you're left with x times x minus 35. Notice how I've just gotten rid of my fractions. I never get rid of my fractions and my parentheses all in one step. So this is 92x plus 92x minus, what is 92 times 35? 92 times 35, I'm using my calculator, that's 3,220. 3,220 equals x squared minus 35x. So let's add a, let me see if I can remember what I have here. I've got 92x plus 92x minus 3220 equals x squared minus 35x. So let's add a slide. So I've got 92x plus 92x minus 3220 equals x squared minus 35x. And 92 plus 92 is 184. So 184x minus 3220 is x squared minus 35x. Let's get zero on the left. We've got x squared. We need to subtract 184 from both sides. So negative 35 minus a 184 is negative 219x plus 3220. You know, we're trying to find Bobby's time, and we could try to factor this, but I have no idea how to do it. So let's, let's just use it be faster and use the quadratic formula. So x equals negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. Your a is 1, your b is negative 219, and your c is 3,220. So let's plug those in there. So you got a negative of a negative 219 plus or minus square root of b squared, which would be negative 219 squared minus four times one times C, three, two, two, O, oh, all over two times A, which is two times one. So that's gonna be a positive 219, plus or minus the square root of 219 squared, which is 47,961, minus four times three, two, two, O. Oh. And that's 12,880 all over 2. 
So that's going to be 219 plus or minus the square root of 47961 minus 12880. Oh, and it's 35081. 35081. And it says round to the nearest minute. So this may not be a whole number. So if you do minus 219 minus the square root, that's going to be a negative number. And time can't be negative. So let's just look at the positive. So it's 219 plus the square root of 35081 divided by 2. And that is 203.15. So that's the nearest minute would be 203 minutes.